Hi, I'm Steve Mignanti, and welcome to Speed's highlighted coverage of the 2010 Barrett-Jackson Scottsdale Auction. Barrett-Jackson attracts collectors from across the country and around the world. And because many of those collectors become regular customers at the auction, they also become familiar faces on our Speed broadcast. This collector's edition of our highlights will introduce you to one of those familiar faces. We've seen that lady before here on... Welcome back. Tammy Allen is putting the stupendous stable of cars she's purchased at the Barrett Jackson auction to work for her by starting a collector car limousine service. You can rent anything from a stretch limousine to a Messerschmitt to a classic like this beautiful 38 Chrysler Imperial. Coming up, more from Tammy Allen's one of a kind collection of cars from Barrett Jackson. Welcome back. Collector Tammy Allen burst onto the Barrett Jackson scene at the January 2009 Scottsdale event. Since then, she's purchased almost 100 cars for her collection here in Grand Junction, Colorado. Let's take a look back at some of her purchases. If you've watched Tammy in action at Barrett Jackson, you know that she has a very diverse collection. She's really a very, very astute buyer and has amassed an incredible collection of vehicles. I like unique, and I like the new cars, like the Vipers. Ladies and gentlemen, help yourselves here. Number 01 of 50 from a third. went through breast cancer. And so many people came up to me afterwards. Sorry. And that's a car, you know? And it, brought all these people telling me, you know, I had it, my sister, my mom, my brother, because guys get it. And so, geez. All goes to charity. Typical Barrett Jackson. Welcome back to the collector's edition of the 2010 Barrett Jackson Scottsdale auction coverage. Many great collections include some great customs, and Tammy Allen's is no exception. Let's take a look at Tammy's purchase of Don Tognati's Amber Award winning King T Custom Roadster. Welcome back. Some would argue that no custom car collection is complete without at least one car from the king of customizers himself, George Barris. Let's watch as collector Tammy Allen buys not one, but two Barris Customs, both with star car provenance. Now these cars, I've got a lot of history to tell about these because they are the actual Sonny and Cher, and we call them the his and hers. The reason why I was doing a movie, and Iacocca said, George, we'll send you out a Mustang, because I was touring with the Ford Custom Car Caravan in the 60s. <laughs> Shirley and I went to their home. Cher says, well, son, great, George. We're going to want it for the movie. But I want my car to be hot pink, patent leather, white fur, and everything. Sonny says, wait a minute. I ain't gonna drive no pink pearl Mustang. He says, I want it to be like a lion. I want suede. I want it to be a masculine car. So I said, okay, and the remedy will be his and hers. So we'll get to it, and that's what we did. I got history of all the cars when they were used in the movie and the different films that they were with. So share it, sign a contract with Caesar for the next two years to entertain. To the press, he said, I'm gonna do my 60s songs. That means I'm gonna be at home and I'm gonna jump into my Barris Custom Mustang and I'm gonna click on my radio on the Mustang to my 60s song. So that made me feel good and nice even after all these years, Cher remembers her Mustang. Welcome back. Like most serious car collectors, Tammy Allen's tastes are very diverse. Sure, she has Mustangs, Camaros, Barracudas, and Challengers, but this pair represents complete polar opposites in the automotive spectrum. 
stay tuned for more unique cars from the Tammy Allen Collection. You don't steer with a steering wheel, you've got handlebars right here. Welcome back. Like most serious car collectors, Tammy Allen's tastes are very diverse. Sure, she has Mustangs, Camaros, Barracudas, and Challengers, but this pair represents complete polar opposites in the automotive spectrum. Coming up, cars never before seen on TV from the collection of Tammy Allen. People are so amazed that a girl could buy cars and like cars. Welcome back. Some of the cars that sell at Barrett Jackson don't always make our broadcast on speed, so we thought we'd give you an opportunity to see some of the cars that collector Tammy Allen purchased at the 2010 Scottsdale event that didn't make our live broadcast. When I started buying cars, it was just because I loved cars. Collecting probably a long time ago, probably 20, 25 years ago, my dad had got a car at a car auction in Vegas for me, and um, just slowly, you know, a few cars here and there. I decided I'm really going to get into this more. And I always thought the limo side, just because people have so much fun in limos, and, you know, it's a whole other experience. Because it was my love of cars I was trying to, you know, bring out in this company. I like really unique, from really big, heavy cars to little teeny cars like that, midget cars. I like the newer with the old cars that maybe have had a lot of body work done that makes them custom. And it's just what catches my eye. And it's not so much that I know exactly how it runs or the big motors and stuff like that. I just like the style of cars. People are so amazed that a girl could buy cars and like cars. They like the whole idea of, of a woman getting involved, and it's just been a lot of fun. Welcome back. The Tammy Allen Collection in Grand Junction, Colorado includes some rare two-seat American sports cars from the 50s. And no, I'm not talking about Thunderbirds or Corvettes. Welcome back. Tammy Allen has big plans for her car collection in the future, and she shared her thoughts with us on what's next. Somebody's going to have a lot of fun with it for $25,000. I really hope they have brought that woman a new pen because <laughs> she has been signing vouchers all sale long and got to be out of ink by now. A lot of my customers have passion for a lot of things. And she loves the cars. And you can tell it's her passion. I just remember my dad was a welder, and we would travel to the jobs. My dad always had nice cars, because he loved cars. Just that whole experience was a good experience. I just got the love of cars from that. When I go to car shows, a lot of families, the mom, the dad, the kids, it reminds me of when I was young, the same connection I feel with cars. That's what makes cars so interesting, is people telling me, oh, I remember this car or that car because I was at a drive-in with my first girlfriend, I, it was my grandpa's, it was, you know, my car. And it really does make people happy. I have plans to build a museum. In fact, I'm having a big hood ornament come out when you walk in the reception area, and they, they put my face on it. We're designing that now. 
I was a stay-at-home mom and housewife. But now I'm having fun. I've experienced and done things that, you know, I dreamed about, but I never thought I'd be able to do. We'd like to thank Tammy Allen for letting us take a peek at her amazing collection here in Grand Junction, Colorado, and for sharing her passion for the hobby. We'll be visiting with more collectors in the future. Until then, I'm Steve Mignotti. Thank you for watching.